EA dropped a guaranteed make your mark team one pack. Let's open up a bunch of these and see what we get. If you guys are looking for cheap, fast and reliable ultimate team coins, check out MMOEXP.com. Link in the description, save 5% using code HABER. These are an 85 rated squad with a team of the season or team of the week required. So they're not massively expensive. But there are a lot of bad cards you can get, in my opinion. Let's see what we get. Come on, EA. Be a Euros one. It is a Euros one. We have got ourselves a German left wing back. It is Mittelstadt from Stuttgart. Germany are actually currently playing right now. They're 1-0 up. Um, I actually already have Mittelstadt. But he did get his chem upgrade already. And I think after today... Um, makes tournament debut for defenders. One clean... Okay, so hopefully after today, he'll have one clean sheet. And maybe if they keep a clean sheet next week... That'll be two clean sheets and hopefully the upgrade uh, to 94, but not a great start. Let me know down below if you guys open this pack, what you guys get, and leave a like on the video if you guys are new around here. Subscribe as well, as it really helps out the channel, and I'm really grateful for all the support. Let's go and open some more packs. All right, we have got Mr. Wizards pack next on the Xbox. Let's see what we get. Realistically, there's a few nations you're hoping for. I think Portugal, Spain, England, and Dutch are all huge if you get a Euros card, that is. He's got himself a Polish left back. From Arsenal, Kivior. That's not bad. I got I got a bit upset there because I thought it was Zalewski. But Kivior is actually solid. I know this card isn't stupidly expensive, but 94 rated. He's like six foot two. He's 140k. And he can play CB with those stats. That's actually a, a nice card. We'll take that. All right. Next guaranteed make your mark card for Nathan. Let's see what we get. We get ourselves another Euros card. It's going to be German. Left wing back. You know the story already. It is Max Maximiliano. Maximilian, Maximilian Mittelstadt, who is a baller, but sadly not a good card to get. They also re-released the 90 plus hero pick, which I thought we'd just open up and see if we can get a great to the game hero, like a 97 Cap de Villa. Would not be bad. We do get ourselves 92 Kiesler. Not ideal. I'll just go ahead and store that in the club and forget about it. Now we've got Lala's MYM Team 1 guarantee. Come on, yeah. Let's get like a Cole Palmer or something. You know what I mean? Actually, you know what? Don't even want Cole Palmer. Ignore that. Don't want Cole Palmer. Instead, I want to get a... I mean, Colin Moani would be really good. Um, Rafael Liao. Let's get Rafael Liao, yeah. Or Van Dijk. Nico Williams. Nice. That's actually class. That is actually really good. Nico Williams, about 500k. I mean, this card looks so good, by the way. This card looks really, really good. Nice. That is actually class. That is actually a really, really good one to get. The only thing that I will say about this promo, I wish there was something to get five-star skills. Imagine this card as five-star, five-star. It'd be unreal. Still a really nice card anyway, though. We'll take that. Solid. Nice. All right, my boy Rubens, make your mark guarantee. We haven't had a Copper America card yet, which is actually a good thing, in my opinion. Dragoose, these are actually paying out. What is going on? These are paying out. These are actually cracked. Maybe it's because people aren't opening them because people don't like this promo. But these are actually cracked. Dragusin, who's extinct, by the way, at 550k, 94 rated CB with the plus chemistry and already has one clean sheet ticked off, right? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure they kept a clean sheet against Ukraine. So if he somehow gets a second clean sheet, that's a 95 rated card right there. That is really nice. And like I said, he's extinct at 550. Best one so far. Wow, these are paying out. Yeah, uh, about that whole extinct at 550. Um, yeah, he's actually not extinct at 550. He's still like 150k or whatever. But uh, I got off footprint prices and uh, they had him extinct there. And uh, he's not. So my bad. But he's still a rigger card. All right, John has got his make your mark guarantee. He's also got an 85 plus uh, pick. An 85 pick. Sorry, not 85 plus, just an 85 pick. Hopefully, these um, make your mark packs to keep on giving out because they're actually giving out good players. I thought these were going to be rubbish. I thought these were going to be like pretty bad. But in fairness, like they're actually not bad at all. Or they haven't been so far. Who we got here? Italy. Another sick one. DeMarco, 96. This card's over 400k. What? These are paying out like crazy. What is going on? These are actually cracked. The, this is like the best look I've seen. I think we've had on an SBC. Maybe ever. If not for a long time anyway. Wow, what a card. Right, on to my second account now. 
we have an item to deal with. Oh, it's Skrinio. Oh, I'm going to have to come back for that. I'll have to discard we'll cover that. Yikes. All right. Make your mark. Team 1 guarantee you our first copper card of the day. It is an American center. That's actually pretty good. Weston McKenney, even though it's our first copper card, that is actually solid. McKenney's decent, man. McKenney's a decent card. I'll happily take that. I think he's like 130k. 150k. Nice. These continue to pay out well. We'll take it. All right. Next, make your mark. Guarantee. We're looking for Van Dyke here. We want the Dutchman himself, Van Dyke. Come on, EA. It's going to be a Euros card. German. Left VV. Unfortunately, it's another middle stat. He is like the bad one. Uh, out of all of them to get, unfortunately. All right. We go again with Michael's Make Your Mark Team 1 Guarantee. As we get news in that Villa have signed um, Ian Matson from Chelsea. That's a really interesting signing, to be fair. I thought Chelsea would have held on to him. They kind of need a left back right now. Um, Ugarte, that is an L. Our second copper card, not great. Come on, EA. We have a copper card. We've got ourselves Miko Tadze. Hmm. I mean, he did score against uh, Turkey. That looks nothing like him. And uh, Alistair Johnston. Eh. That's not very good. That's not very good at all, is it? I think we just got absolutely cooked. Oh, yeah. We got cooked, man. We got absolutely cooked there. All right. We go again. It can't get worse. Well, actually... No, it probably can get worse, can't it? Who's that? Illich. That card just makes me... Remi reminds me of that uh, Milinkovic Savic goalkeeper shapeshifter card last year. Do you remember that? Oh, what a card that was. And uh, Benjamin Sesko. Brilliant. I think that's two dupes. Nice. Let's go. Double dupes. Just what I wanted. Thanks, EA. Wow. An icon. Oh, my God. Wait, what? I just bought Zizu. What? I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, my word. What a pack. That's... What? It's tradable. He's like 470k. Get in there. I was just... I'm, I'm watching Run the Foot Market right now. I wasn't even paying attention. Just pack Zizu. Let's go, baby. What a pack. All right. We're going to end off with a couple Make Your Mark packs in the store. Uh, these are the tradable ones as well, which I usually don't recommend doing, but I like getting coins back in the club. You know, we need we need to try and get coins back if we can. We've got ourselves Mittelstadt and... Villavar. Not great, unfortunately. This is why I don't... The only reason why I don't recommend tradable packs as much, even though it's nice getting coins back, like, I just feel like, unfortunately, tradable packs in general just have way worse weight than untradables. I think EA don't mind giving you good cards if they're untradable, but they don't want us to have coins, so they don't like us opening tradable packs. So I think that's, unfortunately, the harsh reality of it. That being said... I'll open them anyway. Come on, give us some coins. We've got ourselves Lech Normand. I just want my Benico Williams for a sec. Uh, Lech Normand and Scott McSauce. So I'll take McTominay just because, you know, I'm a United fan. I know I'm a big fan of McTominay, but I know they're not the most expensive cards. I don't think... Uh, yeah, I think both of them. I think McTominay's about 100k to be fair, but I think, unfortunately, Lech Normand is like 40k. So it's not amazing, unfortunately, but it is what it is. And we have a little bit of fodder there as well, which we'll send to the transfer list and discard the rest. So could have been a lot better, could have been a lot worse. But if you guys have enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you guys are new around here as it massively helps out the content grow and whatnot. So I'm really grateful for that. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you later.